Hello and welcome to the Play 21 Mini Let's Plays. Today we have with us Thomas Springer from France and he brought with us his game uh, Chicken Archie. Hello. Hi. So you're very right. <laughs> Your background. Are you in space? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, just uh, like you've seen the background. Yes, very nice. Uh, so to get to know each other, I prepared a little warm up, some sentences you can complete. And uh, if you're ready, I'll just start with the first couple of questions. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. So, so first one. Um, this morning I drank. Um, hot chocolate. Cool. Uh, my main occupation is? A student. Okay. I would describe myself as a uh, game developer. I think. <laughs> My superpower is um, I am creative. I think. I hope. Yeah, I would say so. The thing I'm holding in my hand most of the time is mm, probably my phone. I think. During the pandemic, I. I took part in game jams. Nice. After the pandemic, I will. <laughs> I will take part in game jams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I'll continue my studies. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm creating interactive works because. Because I think it um, helps uh, bringing people together. Mm -hmm. And the future of games will be. Uh, about uh, about being together, I think. I, yeah, yeah, that that sounds very nice. Um, yeah, that's it. Basically, the warm up. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but but what are you studying? I'm studying uh, mathematics and physics. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, wow! Uh, interesting. Also. Okay, so I guess there are. Uh, th th there are some things you can take from the studies to your game development. Yeah, sure. Uh, or, or everything I learned about uh, coding uh, and computer science and also also physics uh, are often uh, useful in the game development. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Is it the other way around as well that you can use your game development skills in the studies? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, um, I had a project uh, where I needed to uh, work alone on something that I like and what I what I'm doing I guess is actually kind of developing a game engine but not actually but it's it's kind of developing a 3D engine so it it's really really useful to be a game developer on the outside and take that knowledge for my studies yeah wow interesting okay so um today we have chicken archie and I can switch over to the game now so here we have it and uh, there, there are lots of chicken in there, <laughs> and you made yeah. it in forty-eight hours. Uh, That's right. So, yeah, w what is it about? I'm, a, I'm a chicken apparently, and I can walk around by moving the mouse. Yeah. So yeah. So the th the theme for this student diary was um, your life is currency. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I kind of wanted the idea of you know. Uh, uh, having a crowd of uh, people and maybe selling your mates, but you know, it's really, you can sell people, it would be really a weird game. So I had this idea of chicken. So you play as a chicken and you can, uh, you know, walk around and, uh, and actually uh, sell your mates for real because uh, you can pay in chicken. And so I thought it was pretty silly and funny uh, idea. So yeah, I, I came up with that. So yeah. So you have a little bit of backstory here. So the you're in the kingdom where people can pay in chicken. So yeah, <laughs> it's funny how the how the text is basically how you talk. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't up on the position, <laughs> but it was right on time. Very very nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can get a sword if I get a lot of chickens. All right. Yeah. So the the uh, so, some funny thing I noticed uh, while playing a little uh, while back is that um, you get many 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 chickens at some point, 
yeah. and uh, they keep uh, you know hanging on stuff <laughs> which is really fun uh, because you don't want to leave your chicken uh, behind but what I couldn't figure out is uh, when when I leave some ki uh, chickens um, Many more do they somehow come come after me later on? Do they uh, do they, they spawn again on my screen? They just get uh, they just get pushed by the camera. Uh, was that's my intention? Or, or my original my original intention was that they get pushed by the camera because otherwise they would just be behind uh, get left behind and it would be kind of. Uh, it's that's not what we want, but we actually it's it's uh, it became a bug because now you can just push your camera and just take your ch take your chicken with you. But you know it's a game jam, so I think it, it's a buggy solution, but it's a working solution. So yeah, yeah, I I really like it that that it is like this. You know, it's very. Um... Crude is a negative word, but I mean uh, raw, maybe. Uh, yeah. So, so, so it's uh, just amazing to see how it, uh, you know, something like this can come out of uh, a game gym. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to take over humans. <laughs> so, but as chickens, is there is there a story behind it? Um, so it's something you would like people to uh, get out of it when you are finished with the game, so that they, I don't know, so, some, some kind of message? <laughs> well, to be honest, the idea of like uh, a revolution of chicken and like uh, taking over humans, it wasn't really planned at all, like, actually. The, the main idea was oh. really to, to sell chicken because uh, I, think, I thought it was funny, you know. And then uh, after uh, playtesting, I realized that uh, you would get a lot of chicken, like a big crowd of chicken, and that was kind of funny. And it was kind of feeling like uh, there was, you know, some kind of revolution going on. So I, can't, I thought it was funny to have like uh, chicken uh, getting uh, 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 um, a big crowd of chicken and like taking over humans. So that's why uh, I had the idea of chicken archie and uh, yeah, and trying to take over humans. But yeah. No, there's definitely no message uh, intended. Actually, it's just it's just a silly game. Yeah. Nah, n no game is really silly. I mean, um, so so revolutions are real, and uh, of course, <laughs> and you have a lot of chickens here, um, and uh, for, for for me, it's really this um, grouping together mechanic, and you you don't want to yeah. leave them behind, and uh, you have this little task you want to do. Uh, just really interesting and it's also about discovering a world. I, I don't think I saw all of it right now because it's fa fairly yeah. big. <laughs> it's pretty um, big for a game jump game. Yeah. And, yeah, and at some point even you, uh, all those um, uh, all those chickens somehow get in your way. And you know, moments like these here with all those stones in between, it's just really fun to, uh, uh, to play around with those uh, physics. Yeah, actually, the you know I had very little time to develop the gameplay. So really, the gameplay was just about moving and finding people and selling chickens. So what's something that could be fun and uh, and uh, fast to create would be to add a little uh, environment pieces that you can push around because it's fun and it's it's basically no coding. You know, you just have to place an object and it's there. So uh, I I I added a lot of these a uh, uh, bunch of uh, rocks and stuff uh, crates. Uh, uh, all around because I thought it was it were, it worked pretty well and people find found it funny so yeah is this something you're you're doing often in your mini game jams that you uh, try to come up with uh, something experimental as this uh, well um, I often have like a basic idea I think uh, something uh, uh, usually that thinks that uh, is linked with the team and uh, and I make a prototype and after I try to, if I have time, I, I, add, I add a bit of uh, features and stuff, but really it's focused on uh, one uh, key uh, mechanic or, or something. So I, yeah, well, I think a good uh, advice for game jams is not to overscope the project, you know. You have to make a prototype that works. And if it works, you can, uh, like what I uh, overdid with this project is the size of the map, <laughs> clearly. Like when I was done, I, I was like, okay, I can, I can, uh, Add new mechanics would be take too long, but I can increase the map size, and I, I thought it would be actually pretty fun to have a big map to explore. So, mm -hmm. 
I usually have a bit of time left at the end of the game jam to uh, add, add stuff, but uh, like reasonably, like not too much. So, uh, final question until the countdown runs out. Um, so, w w what would you say is more true? Uh, games influencing societies or, uh, soci or, or games being a reflection of society? Oh, oh that's, uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't think uh, such a game could uh, influence that much society. You know? um, well, I think uh, games can be uh, especially a uh, funny uh, mirror of the society like this one. Like, it's really it's kind of uh, inspired of society and uh, revolution, but you know, it's it's completely silly. It's chicken, so, so I think that uh, in games could be. Uh, I don't. I don't have much uh, examples of games actually, uh, like uh, really uh, modifying society. You know. I think mm. it's more the other way around, but yeah. Cool. So I would say nature is fighting back here. <laughs> <laughs> so humans are too too bad at uh, keeping house with their nature. So now we have to do this as chickens. It's a climate change game, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yeah. No. Uh, thanks. Uh, for for creating this game um, it's really fun uh, I think it's amazing and uh, I hope there's uh, lots of more experimental stuff uh, coming so um, as a final thing uh, would you like to uh, say something to the audience like what they should check out is there a new project uh, you would like them to check out yeah so I May, I took part in game chat, but I also do some apps. So I uh, I have uh, one app released and should be one small app that uh, comes uh, in uh, in the next few days. Uh, I hope. So you can just Google uh, Thomas Bringer uh, on uh, Google Play. So it's yeah, it's on Android, and you can find uh, my app or my two apps. Yeah, it's called Headache, the one that's out. So yeah, nice. So please do that after you checked out uh, Chicken Archie here in the Play Valley. Uh, thanks for the interview and uh, you. see you at the festival. <laughs> bye bye. 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 <laughs>